Softball 605, I'm here with uh, Pierce Fast Pitch Coach, Coach Al. Coach, talk about this the tournament and what, what did you feel your team accomplished this weekend? You know, Travis, what we really saw is a team that gelled. A lot of chemistry this weekend. We had a lot of hustle. When we don't hustle and have the energy level up, it gets to be a tough game for us. And these girls really showed how they can hit the ball. There wasn't a pitcher that scared them today. We're not used to seeing teams like this out in Pierce, so it's good competition for us to come. They responded well, and as a coach, that's all you can ask. Absolutely. What's coming up for the future for Pierce Fast Pitch for you guys for the season and then also looking forward to you know maybe high school ball I mean is Pierre going to be able to put a team together this year to come into high school it is one of the things we're looking at and I'll, in a minute but right now our season coming up we've got tournaments scheduled the next three weekends will be in Mitchell Madison and then we're hosting our first ever tournament in Pierre at the end of June if we can get some teams to come out and play so we're struggling a little bit with that but we had to try it um, and we'll be back in the state tournament in, in the middle of July down here in Sioux Falls as well uh, looking at club fall ball we are checking out the possibility. A lot of our girls play volleyball and it's tough to get them away from the school sport to do that. So we're trying to find out right now if we can get enough of them there, put a team together on the field. Uh, the talk is going on. We're going to see if we can make it happen. Absolutely. And that's, that's kind of what we've talked about really in our last couple of shows of This Week on the Diamond is this idea of, you know, club softball. Our kids really play that school sport of volleyball or, you know, football for the guys. And it's hard for us to pull those kids away from those, those actual sanctioned sports to come and play club. Yeah, that is the big challenge is when you're limited in numbers and Piers is a small enough community, these girls do a lot of different sports and activities. So, you know, you can't expect them to play volleyball on a Saturday and then go play softball games on a Sunday afternoon. Plus, you know, the coaches aren't crazy about it. I understand that. Uh, but we've got enough girls, we think, right now that we've got enough to form a basis. It's just a question of if we can fill in some of the other spots to put a team on the field this fall. Absolutely. Well, Al, thanks for stopping by with Softball 605. A great tournament for you guys. Um, I really hope you guys build on that, and we'll see you back here in Sioux Falls for the state tournament. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. We enjoyed the weekend. Thanks, Al. Softball 605, we'll be back.